Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back, and um, this is part two of the video on how to create different variants between Printful and Shopify. So, one thing I noticed when trying to add in a new product into Shopify, if I was telling it that Printful was handling the items, it would tell me I need a SKU number, so it's kind of backwards. So this is the way that I handle it, and we're going to be working on a colorful camouflage face covering. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Product, and Accessories, Face Masks. I'll click on this Neck Gator, and I'm going to do a stitching color of black. I'm going to start with the red design, click on Upload File choose this red camo pattern. Now these are not seamless, so I'm not going to scale these down, but if they were seamless, I would scale them down for a better print quality. However, the print quality I find, if it is at least 150 DPI, you are fine. Um, if I really wanted to, I could take this and create a larger pattern, but um, I'm not going to do that. Ooh, excuse me. I go ahead and click on proceed to media. I'm just going to use men's mock-up on this one. I will take care of the color. I will take care of the description later. And proceed to pricing and submit to store. So what that's going to do is it's going to push this to um, <clears throat> Shopify. And then once it gets pushed to Shopify, I can go ahead and add in the other variants that I'm looking to add in. So I'm going to go back to my products here. I'm going to type in colorful. It hasn't come in yet might take a minute there we go here it is I'm gonna change this product availability before I forget to do that click on done make sure my product type matches what it needs to be my tags are good my price is good you can see that the inventory is managed by print pool a physical product and then we're going to go down and click on this product has multiple options. And we're just going to keep this at color. We're going to go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And click on save. Okay, and you can see that this has populated. Okay, and now when we go back and click on this, it will have the six variants. So we'll start here with red. We're going to go to sync items. And see if this was synced it didn't but what you can do is choose a past product click on edit go to design and change your print file out and this will allow you to change your mock-ups and click on submit And then you're just going to go here. We're going to choose this. Edit. Oh, I forgot which one I was working on. Blue. OK, 
pray. Green. Orange. Purple. And yellow. Do you have quick I'm cruising through this? Okay. So obviously it says the changes are going to take effect shortly. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this and we'll see. Everything's gotten uploaded. So now when you go back to your product page and click refresh. You can see everything has been pulled. From the print folds. And you can see all of these uh, mockups have been related to this. And they all have different SKU numbers. So, if you go ahead and click on view, again, you can choose what color you would like. And that's all there is to it. So obviously this one was a lot quicker than the previous one um, because I didn't have as many variants for this particular product. Um, so it was pretty quick and seamless, and that's really all there is to it for these. And that way you can have one listing show six different uh, variations instead of having six different products on your page. So I hope that helps some of you out. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, please feel free to let me know below. And again, please go ahead and click like and subscribe on this video. That does help me stay motivated to continue making these. Um, if there's anything on Shopify and Printful integration that you're looking for help with, please let me know. If there's anything Shopify-wise that you need help with, please let me know. Um, I'll be dropping some videos on, you know, how to choose a theme and how to edit themes and things of that nature. Because um, I'm a nerd and I like to do that kind of stuff. But if there's anything in particular you're looking for, please let me know. I hope everybody is surviving the pandemic. I'm glad to be back and creating content after a two-month-long hiatus. So enjoy this, and I'll catch everybody later.